everybody go to breakfast. hi guys <laughs> welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog so i'm going as you can see you guys know that i've just been packing basically i've been doing a lot of packing arranging the house i'm basically just like cleaning up everywhere to get ready for my travel <sighs> coming out with patchy feels so nice the weather is nice i'm not even wearing socks ah, and i'm not feeling cold but anyways the weather feels very good today so i'm going to be traveling out of england today hmm i wanted to say it's going to be a surprise but you guys must have already seen the title of where i'm going to so there's no point saying <laughs> there's no point saying no oh, guess where i'm going to you guys already know where i'm going to but anyways today is monday oh no today is actually not monday today is what's today today is actually tuesday today is tuesday and tomorrow i'm traveling from um england to sweden now I'm going to be leaving Birmingham to go to London today and the reason why is because my flight is very early tomorrow so my flight is for seven now hear me out hear me out <laughs> hear me out the reason why I booked a 7 a.m. flight was because I wanted to get to Sweden by let's say eight because I think it's a one-hour flight I wanted to get to Sweden by eight then you know pass immigration do everything then get in on time for my stand-up now while I was booking my holiday I had totally forgotten that this was the plan then i booked tomorrow as a holiday so there's no point getting you know getting there early and all of that <laughs> and now i must still leave birmingham today because i cannot make it to the airport like around seven without being in london and i'm going to be flying out from stansted airport so i have to leave today so right now i'm done with work i've closed out out of office notification on and vacation has started well not vacation per se but i mean I'm going to be enjoying myself so i'm also going for the easter holiday too as well so i'll be spending easter in sweden then i think one more week then in fact i don't know the plan i think i'm going to spend staying in sweden for about two weeks so hopefully i get to you know go around play around and do all the shit that girls hopefully i'm going to vlog and hopefully i'm going to carry you guys along with me on what i'm doing and you know how my vacation in sweden is going i'm going to be staying with cousin precious and brother confidence <laughs> i'm sure they'll be like why are you calling my name like that but i will call it like that i'm going to stay with cousin precious and brother confidence so hopefully those ones will take me around i know i will enjoy my stay but if they don't take me around i will report them to you guys and if they take me around i'll report out report them to you guys so you guys help me thank them yeah so right now it's about it's time for us to just have um dinner so we want to have um jollof rice and chicken and we also have a, our fredo pasta we want to eat and yeah after that we just try the bean trash the bean and get an uber to start going to the train station may i don't get to the train station early because i'm not in the mood to get the leads 
but let's see how it goes all right so i want to give you guys a quick update and i'll talk to you guys later you guys can see that i'm happy ah, all right so now your girl is microwaving when i finish microwaving the jello first and chicken oh this is very hot it's time for us to do the pasta microwave this now all right so i'll talk to you guys later when it's time for us to you know maybe when we're at the train station i think that's the next time i'll have time to talk to you guys because right now i just want to focus on doing my last minute packing I'm making sure that I'm not, I'm not forgetting anything. I watered my plants before leaving today. <laughs> I watered my plants before leaving today because I know that I won't water them for like the next 10 days and it's better I do it now or rather today. I'm so sad to actually leave these plants, but you know, when you're a mom, you know, there are some times that you leave your children and you know you'll be sad that you're leaving them. But don't worry, you got this. You know, you're a super mom. I know I'm a super mom, so I'm, I'm sad, but I'm fine. <laughs> I'll be fine. All right, yeah, I'll talk to you. I'm going to say rubbish. I'll talk to you guys later. All right, bye. No, can't try again. Get out. So you guys, I'm in London right now. There's this light stuff I bought, like a mini lamp or rather mini lights, and I'm just like trying it out. And I'm very fascinated by this stuff. Yeah, so this looks nice. Ooh. Anyways, so right now I just got to London right now. Time is currently past ten, and my research is only telling me that I see it. babe, it's time to sleep so I have to go to bed now um so i just go i just already checked in so i have my boarding pass and i have my seat already uh so baggage closes past six that's 6 20 so i'm aiming to get to the airport around past five ish so what's going to happen is that i have to go to bed now because if i have to wake up early enough to get to the airport I have to be well rested even if i'm going to be grumpy i'm one of those people that see if i don't sleep well it's over <laughs> it's over for everybody <laughs> it's over but anyways um i'm actually looking forward to this trip and i'm already enjoying myself right now i'm already in london and yeah just time for me to sleep uh go to bed and my trip tomorrow will start by i think past two in the morning because i'm going to be breaking down the um trip kind of so I'm going to be taking a cab from where I am right now to Golders Green. Then from Golders Green, I'll be taking a I'll be taking National Express from Golders Green to um, Stansted Airport. So I must not miss the National Express. If not, I'm I'm finished. I'm completely finished. <laughs> if not, I am completely finished, and I'm looking forward to my Sweden trip. So I bid you guys farewell, and I bid you guys good night. Bye. <laughs> Some people are thinking I'm crazy, but I don't care. All that matters to me is that thing.
Cause you gotta call her. Huh? I Hi guys, so right now we're in Sweden, we're in Bella Confidence and Cousin Precious's house. I'm very tired and I sound like someone that is. I sound like a drunk man. Well, I say drunk man, but my, my voice is very... Mm. <laughs> and that's because I actually slept for quite some time. I don't know if you guys can see it on my face, but I am well rested. And I'm very happy. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. I mean, we were having airport shenanigans and just a lot of things. Though, from the airport to the house, it was quite easy and pretty straightforward. Like I was saying, yeah, or rather, let me just say this. If you're going to any country, it is very important that you do your homework before leaving. So let me give you an example. Personally, I did not do this. I'm not even going to stay here and say, oh, I did it. And that's the reason why I'm giving this, this um, advice. I did not do this. <laughs> so what we did was that we checked and um, we checked the um, taxi ride that's from the airport to the house to know like literally how much or approximately how much we're going to pay with uber so that in case we go here and maybe the local taxi was um cheaper we would use that or even if we followed you will use the uber so because we already checked what the uber estimates is going to be when someone approached us we just told the guy the guy was giving us like i think literally times to the price uber was giving us so it was just easy for us to say you know if we're not interested we're waiting for uber because this was the same mistake we made when we went to turkey we did not check anything we didn't check how far um our hotel was from the airport we just you know we're just excited we just went head on i'm um, like spent literally a lot of money we spent a lot of money on um airport taxi from the airport to the hotel but anyways that's by the way yeah i'm just excited right now and i'm very lucky because ezra is having a meeting other people are doing different things and i don't want to constitute a nuisance in this house <laughs> so later today we plan on going for a walk i don't know if we're still going to go but that's the idea we just plan on going for a walk just going around you guys know me i love exercising and my form of exercise is I'm going on a walk. I'm probably going. To, I carried my workout clothes, by the way, and I'm probably going to do some light workouts in this house. I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to this. I'm just happy that I'm on leave. To be honest, I'm happy that I'm on leave. I also wanted to um, give you guys my whole Schengen application um, brouhaha and literally not everything that happened, but most of what happened. So I applied for Schengen visa, and you know when you're applying for Schengen visa, you're supposed to put your your flight tickets you where you're staying in hotel if people invited you family of course we use the family and friends route if people invited you or you know different things or if you're going to like um <clears throat> or maybe you have invitations just literally just anything that can help your application so that you will not be um refused the visa so we applied to choose sweden but we're supposed to go to the netherlands because my company is doing like an annual an annual trip or rather an annual event and we were told this in i think last year december so we're supposed to have been getting my visa ready but the thing about it is that for netherlands there are no visa appointment dates no business no tourists no family no friends nothing it's not available so i was like you know that i'll use sweden then get the schengen visa then you know up, then go to netherlands so i applied for like i think with my whole um hotel and like flight reservations and everything i was supposed to get at least three four months um worth of schengen like duration and all that so i was like okay cool no problem do you know that when we applied for this thing yeah when the visa came out we got 24 days 24 days So the chances that when i get to birmingham i have to start looking for like another um schengen appointment date and all that is very high if not i have to inform my company that i'm not able to make the trip and it's going to be very very annoying because it look as you know i'm the only one in my team that will not make it but i mean enough of that i'm not here to you know get angry or get sad that i will not be able to make this trip or not make it but Anyways, right now, because the precious is actually making rice, so I'm going to go and help her. 
a little bit i'm gonna go and join her in cooking and ezra is having a meeting and he's disturbing my video but he's making money for the family <laughs> so i cannot complain <laughs> all right so yeah i just wanted to give you guys a quick update and i mean and this house is very pretty and spacious oh my goodness and they have this type of my plant my montserrat delicosa one second let me show you guys so as in this this house here yeah, the light that gets into this house is amazing it's really on a very bright and sunny day it's amazing but anyways let me show you guys the oh, let me show you guys the plants that i was talking about <laughs> Oh, that's so big. 